Today's video is another Bitcoin story. Before we go any further, this is not advice. This video is information only. This channel is me talking about personal finance and investing based on my experience and what I'm currently looking into to help people watching with the personal finances and with their investing. Today's video is another Bitcoin story. It's my Bitcoin story. Now, I'm a self-confessed expert on how not to invest. And if you stick around, if you stay tuned till the end of the video, I'm going to tell you my biggest mistake to date. My biggest mistake after just over four years of investing in crypto and Bitcoin. So stick around to find out what not to do, how not to invest. When did it all start for me personally? Now, if you talk to... If you talk to anyone about Bitcoin or crypto, they've all got a story. When they started, why they started, they've got a few regrets. And me personally, I'm no different. I first got into Bitcoin, or first heard about Bitcoin in 2015, Christmas 2015. And my cousin, one of my cousins, told me about Bitcoin tried to get me to invest in Bitcoin. But unfortunately, I didn't. Now at the time, Bitcoin was, the price of Bitcoin was roughly $350. Now, I would have had a spare $10,000 at the time. I'd been on a few good jobs. I had some good savings. I would have had a spare $10,000 to put into Bitcoin. Now, if I'd have put $10,000 into Bitcoin, it would have, of at least 100x from there. So it was at $350, 10x would have been $3,500, 100x would have been $35,000. Now currently, I think Bitcoin's trading at roughly $45,000. So I would have had from 2015, Christmas 2015 to now, I would have had at least 100x. So that $10,000 would have went up to a million dollars at least but unfortunately I didn't I had no idea what my cousin was talking about I didn't understand it and fortunately for me this cousin tried again in 2017 mid 2017 luckily this time I was listening uh, I'd heard about Bitcoin I'd heard about crypto at this point from other people from social media from news and I was listening. I got into Bitcoin, sorry, I got into crypto in mid 2017. I got into a few altcoins. I think it was uh, UKG, DTA, MTL and ELF, A-E-L-F. And what happened is I put 2000 in each, they went up I didn't cash out, I didn't take any money out, didn't take any profits out, and they all went back down. So I lost about maybe six to eight thousand pounds in my first six months of investing with crypto. Now, unfortunately for me, I listened to this cousin, to my cousin in 2017. I got into crypto, but I wasn't really listening. What he told me back then was if I made any profits, pull them out and put them in back into Bitcoin, BTC, but I didn't because I was clueless. I didn't have a clue what I was doing. I didn't understand what I was doing. I was just going off what my cousin was saying, but I wasn't really listening to it. As I say, I got into a few altcoins, put 2000 in each, they went up, went back down. For example, UKG, I put 2000 in, it went up to just over 20,000, 20,000 pounds, and then went back down to around 200, 200 pounds. And this was over the course of six months. Now, at the start of 2018, Bitcoin had reached its all time high of around 20,000, I think it was, and then went back down. Now, when Bitcoin went down, all the overall coins went down, as you'd expect, and I lost that initial investment, that's 8,000 pound. Well, it, the 8,000 went right down to maybe a 1,000. 
So I wasn't happy. I threw my toys out the pram and forgot all about Bitcoin. And this was maybe until the start of 2020 when I started, I was writing about it in blog posts. I was starting to, I read the odd book. I was starting to get my head into it a little bit. And this was especially the case towards the end of 2020. I was starting to get it. I was starting to understand it. Now, I got right into Bitcoin and crypto in 2021. At the start of 2021, I bought quite a lot of altcoins and I continue to do this throughout the course of 2021 for various reasons. But the biggest thing is that I fell down the Bitcoin rabbit hole. And towards the end of 2021, I would say I really understood it. I finally got it. Now it took me about four years to, from starting to invest in crypto and Bitcoin to understand it, to fully get it. And what I wanna do over the next few videos is focus on crypto and hopefully get you into, get anyone watching this video into crypto so you'll have a, a smoother journey you'll understand it quicker. It won't take you four years to fully get it. Now, if you're just getting into crypto, if you're thinking about investing, start with Bitcoin and maybe Ethereum, but really your starting point is Bitcoin. And what I would do is read the Bitcoin white paper to start off with. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over the main points, what I think are the main points of the Bitcoin white paper so if you're just starting out in crypto, start with Bitcoin. Read the Bitcoin white paper. Uh, the Bitcoin white paper. BTC, Bitcoin, is a peer-to-peer -peer form of electronic cash. So that's me and you sending money to each other without an intermediary, without a financial institution. The network, the, B the Bitcoin miners, use proof of work to verify transactions. The largest chain, blockchain, not only serves as proof of the sequence of events witnessed, but proof it came from the largest pool of CPU power. A Bitcoin node is any computer that runs a BTC a Bitcoin implementation and stores the entire blockchain. Now, banks and other financial institutions are based on trust. Bitcoin and blockchain are based on mathematics and technology. The more blocks in the chain, the more secure the network. Now I'm just gonna go over a few main points of the network. New transactions are broadcast to all nodes. Each node collects new transactions into a block. Each works on finding a different proof of work for its block. When a node finds a proof of work, it, bro it broadcasts the block to all nodes. Nodes accept the block only if all transactions in it are valid and not already spent, preventing double spending. Nodes express their acceptance of the block by working on creating the next block in the chain. Like I've said, Banks work on trust. If you want to send money to another person, it goes through the bank and then it goes to the other person. This takes time and it costs money. With Bitcoin, it's about mathematics and technology. It's about the blockchain. So read the white paper. It might be, it might be a foreign language to you. Difficult to understand at first, but the more you read it, the more you read the Bitcoin white paper and other crypto white papers, the technology, this foreign language, it starts to make a bit more sense. As I say, if you're starting out in crypto, the first place to start is Bitcoin, BTC. Read the white paper, maybe read a few books. And if you look below in the video description, there'll be some useful books and maybe one or two podcasts to get your head into, to understand Bitcoin. So you're interested in Bitcoin, you want to invest, read the white paper, read a couple of books and try and get your head into it. So before I wrap things up with it, today's video, I'm gonna to tell you my biggest mistake to date. 
and that is not buying enough Bitcoin over the years. As I touched on in the video, my cousin back in 2017 told me to take some profits out of altcoins, if I made any, if I was fortunate enough to make any, and put it back into Bitcoin. I didn't. Now, in 2020, there was a couple of times I nearly bought one Bitcoin. It was at a low price. When COVID first hit, it went down at $4,000. I think in the August of that year, August 2020, it was back up to about eight or $9,000. I nearly bought in at that point, but I didn't. I certainly had the money to buy at least one, but I didn't. And this has been my biggest mistake. If... I could go back, I would put more into Bitcoin. I would dollar cost average into Bitcoin, maybe 500 pounds a month or $500, whatever fiat currency you use. I would have dollar cost averaged over the last four years. And I would maybe be sat on four, five, even 10 Bitcoin. I'd be in a very good position, but I didn't. And that is my biggest mistake to date, not putting more money into Bitcoin, not putting profits from all coins into Bitcoin. Now I've got some Bitcoin, but definitely not enough. Especially now I fully understand the technology. I understand Bitcoin. After falling down the Bitcoin rabbit hole in 2021, I finally get it. And it's taken me maybe four years of investing in crypto to finally get Bitcoin. Over the next few videos, I'm gonna be talking about crypto especially what I was doing in 2021. What old coins I was buying, for what reasons, how to buy, store and exchange crypto and Bitcoin and how I finally fell down the Bitcoin rabbit hole. That just about wraps things up for today's video. Again, check out the video description below for some useful links. You'll find some my, my favorite books on crypto what I would recommend, some useful podcasts to get your head into Bitcoin and some other useful links. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening. And if you've liked the content, give the channel a like, subscribe to the channel and help me get the content out there so I can help other people get their heads into Bitcoin and crypto.